party that primarily is at that level. A lot of reunions are heartwarming. But the one you're about to see may actually renew your faith in mankind. On the ground. To be able to actually meet the guy I've fought a life and death duel with, you know. There he is. To be able to put all that behind us and somehow find something positive out of that, it was the right thing to do. Vietnamese. This is Nguyen Hong Mi and Dan Cherry's first meeting as friends, their third overall. Welcome to America. The first two were just under dramatically different circumstances. Their initial meeting was the subject of a History Channel documentary. Combining computer animation with actual cockpit voice recordings, it told the story of one of the most dramatic dogfights of the Vietnam War. There's a Meg, right? Meg 21. Okay, Pilot Dan Cherry had engaged a North Vietnamese MiG fighter, and after a prolonged cat and mouse... I was not going to let this guy get away. Cherry fired the Sparrow missile that would give him not only his one and only shootdown of the war, I got him, I got him. But his first glimpse of his future friend, a very lucky North Vietnamese pilot named Nguyen Hong Mi. Flash forward 32 years. There she was, sitting right there in a grassy field. In 2004, Dan found his old plane outside a VFW hall near Dayton, Ohio. All these memories came flooding back to me. The first thing I started thinking about was the fate of the MiG pilot. I wonder if he really did survive when he hit the ground. Was he okay? Was he injured? Did he have a family? After an exhaustive, unproductive search, Dan heard about a TV show in Vietnam called The Separation Never Seems to Have Existed. That's the name of the show? That's the way it translates. It's a, is it like, this is your life? Exactly. Dan sent a letter to the show, which led to their second meeting. We had a very firm handshake, and he says, welcome to my country. I'm glad to see that you're in good health, and I hope that we can be friends. After the show, Hong Mi invited Dan back to his home, let him hold his grandson. It was a special thing, and I thought to myself, how quickly has trust developed between the two of us? Which brings us to their third meeting. Just a few weeks ago, Hong Mi came to visit Dan at his home in Bowling Green, Kentucky. First order of business, fawning over Dan's grandchildren. Hong Mi also helped cut the ribbon at Bowling Green's Aviation Heritage Park, new home of Dan's old plane. Obviously, Hong Mi bears no bitterness, although he doesn't like the name of Dan's book. I never considered Dan and I to be enemies, he said. I had to fulfill my duty, and Dan had to fulfill his. Fortunately, today, they share the same sense of duty. We hope that the fact that we've been able to reconcile our differences might somehow help Vietnam veterans on both sides. Both sides of the war and all corners of the world. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Bowling Green, Kentucky.